what do you do when your best friend kills himself? What do you do? What are you supposed to do after that to kind of get over it? How do you kind of deal with that? He hung himself. And on my YouTube channel was loads and loads and loads of footage of him in a band that I was in with him and three other lads rehearsing songs that we'd written ourselves and played and performed ourselves and we were filming um, a rehearsal one evening I'd say possibly seven or eight years ago maybe maybe less something around that you know. loads and loads of hours of footage on my old YouTube channel also on that YouTube channel was some concerts that I'd been to and also some once in a lifetime trips I'd been to the other side of the world all footage of videos that I'd made of things that I'd experienced and things that I'll never get back and never see again all on my YouTube channel now it was January 2014 my YouTube channel one of the videos on it got flagged by somebody while I was in Miami and because of that every single one of my videos and my channel was terminated the entire channel so I lost basically everything that I'd ever filmed and put up on YouTube since you know the, the previous three or four years I don't know if, well, probably seven or eight years, you know, I'd, I'd had a digital camera for uh, since about 2008, 2007 maybe. So we lost everything, every single video, over 400 in total. The most precious of all those videos was of my best friend who hung himself. Hours and hours and hours of our band rehearsing in a room in North London. Now, this is a video for the CEO of YouTube, Susan Wojcikowicz or something, Susan something unpronounceable surname. Now, I'd like this video to go viral, if at all possible. I'd like you to share this video and pass it on. You know, you see these videos on YouTube and on, well, especially on Facebook that go viral. You know, people with a, a sad message and they normally hold up cards and they speak a message because they're, they're too afraid to say it out loud. I made a video about a year ago asking for my YouTube channel to be reinstated. I've also emailed YouTube, sent letters in the post to YouTube and also... Just asked them and asked them and asked them and begged them and begged them and begged them to reactivate my old YouTube channel. But they haven't. I don't know why it was terminated. I mean, if one video was flagged, because I, I received a notification on my Gmail account to say, somebody has flagged one of your videos. And I thought, fair enough. You know, if they want to remove that video or delete that particular video, then fine. It was for a, uh, a Google Hangout. I was just advertising a Google Hangout that I was going to take part in with some friends. Instead, you know, I lost 400 videos. Irreplaceable, you know, videos of people who have died, who have died and are no longer with us. You know, so I'm asking whoever you are in the world watching this video just to share it. Because I want this video to go viral. I want this video to be seen by the CEO of YouTube. And I would like you, Susan, if you're watching this video, to reactivate my channel or explain to me why 
you decided to remove 400 videos when one of them was flagged. My YouTube channel URL was www.youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Dan Sumo 73. That's D A N S U M O numbers 73. That YouTube channel no longer exists and I'd like it to be reinstated. There's nothing offensive on there whatsoever. There's nothing that's kind of like a copyrighted whatsoever you know there's songs that we've written ourselves as a band performing there's videos of myself talking about stuff video blogging which is what i do there's videos of me playing the piano there's videos of some concerts that i went to that some of those videos i've had you know hundreds of thousands of views i also had thousands of subscribers and uh i'd like that video channel back because it's got irreplaceable footage. It's got, you know, trips to Cuba that I've never, I would never go on again. You know, once in a lifetime holidays and uh, experiences which are only personal to me, you know. But the footage of my best friend, that's irreplaceable. You know, there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people that knew him. You know, he had like 700 people went to his funeral. And, uh, you know, this is some of the only footage that we've got of him in the band that we he used to play in with me. I was the drummer, he was the bass guitarist. So we had a kind of a a connection, a musical connection. Now, if it's not too much trouble, Susan, the CEO of YouTube, please, I'm begging you, I'm begging you, please, 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 please pretty please, with sugar on top. I'm asking you and begging you to reactivate my YouTube channel. By all means, delete the one video that was flagged and any other videos you fit you seem fit to do so. Please do not remove on a permanent basis the videos of my best friend who hung himself because that footage is irreplaceable. You know, think about it. If it was one of your best friends, if I, if it was your best friend that you knew and for, for years and years, a guy that was so popular and friendly and sort of uh, lit up a room when he walked in and was just one of these amazing human beings that sort of was like a grade A student, a sort of, you know, a extremely good musician, like a genius musician and like an Olympic standard athlete. He was just one of these people that excelled at everything he did, he was really popular, he had like an incredible family. A gorgeous girlfriend and thousands and thousands of mates. He hung himself, and there's loads of footage of him that you deleted. Somebody in YouTube's head office made the decision to delete every single one of my videos, and I'd like them back because I've done nothing wrong. There's nothing on that video channel that's offensive in any shape, way whatsoever. So I'd like that reinstated, please, because it's destroying me to to realise and to, to try and get my head around. A, the fact that my best friend committed suicide. And B, some of the only footage that we've got of him playing his bass guitar, which is what he was renowned for. And, you know, everyone knew him as the bass player. That footage has been deleted. You know, it's hard enough to get your head around the fact that you'll never see him again. But uh, the fact that you and somebody in your organisation, somebody who works for YouTube, made the decision to terminate my entire channel and delete 400 videos, it's just unheard of. It's, it's ridiculous. I can't understand why it's been happening. What, what, what did you find so offensive about that one video that was flagged? You know, if one video gets flagged, remove that one video. Please don't remove 400 videos, which I'll never get back. I'm begging you, please, Susan, the CEO of YouTube, please reinstate my YouTube channel, www.youtube.com forward slash user forward slash DanSumo73. Whoever you are watching this video, please share it. Please share it. You might not know me. Some of you will know me, but some of you won't. Just share it. I want this video to go viral. Let's see if we can make this video go viral. 
let's see if we can get this video to be watched by the CEO of YouTube and let's see if she has a heart. If she does, she will realise that all the family and friends and people that knew and worked with my best friend who committed suicide, they would love to see this footage back because it used to get loads of hits. You know, he died about three years ago. And, uh, you know, luckily, all that footage at the time, I was putting it out on Facebook and I was, I was sort of sharing it and emailing it to people. And it got loads and loads of views because obviously there wasn't much footage of him. You know, I was sort of uh, thought about filming this years ago. So this footage was viewed loads of times. Then all of a sudden, it all disappeared. So nobody can see any of it. And I'd like it, if it's not too much trouble, to put it back. Because it's nothing wrong about, about it whatsoever. It's not offensive. It's us playing music. You know, it's me filming my holidays. It's me playing the piano. It's me video blogging, you know. It's just a regular YouTube channel of me being me and doing stuff that I do, you know. So please, make this video go viral. Like it, share it, comment underneath. And let's get this video seen by the CEO of YouTube. Thanks for watching. My name's Dan Fossard. And please leave a comment underneath if, you've, uh, if you know this woman. You know, this person, that, you know, the head, the head boss, you know, the CEO of YouTube. Somebody must know her. Somebody must have some contact details for her. Somebody must know her email address or how to get this video put in front of her that, so, so that she'll watch it. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Reinstate my YouTube channel. I'm begging you. Do the decent thing. Do the decent thing. You know, give me back the footage of my best friend. That's all I'm asking. Just give me back this footage. Give me back my channel. My 400 videos which have lost and gone forever. Just give them to me back. I beg you. I absolutely beg you, please. Nothing else I've got to say. My name is Dan Fossard. Thanks for watching this video. Let's make it go viral, please. Thank you.